Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Sneakers and Shit Talking. I am your host, Sneakerhead on the Budget. This is the Sneaker Show you didn't fucking ask for. Welcome to another edition. Welcome to another week. Hope you guys had a great week. I'm um, sorry for the delay on this episode. Your boy takes day offs. So I can't take day offs. Uh, so don't get mad about it. I just took a day off, you know, I'm just whatever. But I still gotta put this in for y'all. Um, so we can get into it. I got a lot of shit talking and less sneakers. So let's get into hot topics. First hot topic of the day. Let's talk about Yeezy versus everybody. Now this isn't the first Kanye uh, versus whoever rants. But this is against Adidas themselves. Um, Kanye is upset that Adidas had another slide. Um, that was created that looks similar to the Yeezy slide. Now, again, every shoe I feel like, whether it's a Travis or whether it's a, an Adidas, uh, it takes inspiration from something else. And there's been plenty of people who found the different shoes that Travis or one of them have used that was similar to an old retro or old shoe from back in the day. And it's like, guys, it's hard to be original nowadays, but like, you gotta try. You gotta try. And so Yeezy, um, he, Kanye is upset. Kanye is definitely upset that this, the slide is out, and he definitely put a post up on social media to let Adidas know he was very unhappy with that. And you can go on his posts and find out where it is and all the sneaker blogs to find out all the other stuff that he said. But essentially, Kanye is upset. Honestly, if I can get a fucking slide for cheaper, I'm going to take it. It's so hard for your boy to even get a Yeezy slide or anything. And I'm not paying $200 for a shoe, uh, a shoe, whatever it is, that I'm trying to wear around the house. So, whatever y'all want to do with that, just get it done. All I know is Kanye is upset, and at this point, it is what it is. Um, but Adidas is, is still not in the, in the open. I guess they got beef with Nike, and they have a lawsuit with Nike about the ADAPT technology. Um, Adidas is saying they already had the auto lace technology and that Nike pretty much stole it and tried to patent it or something or stole it and tried to take credit for it and Adidas ain't having it. So Adidas got a lot of smoke coming out right now um, with their own uh, brand mate Kanye and then you know Nike. There's a lot going on guys. There's a lot going on with these lawsuits and there's people upset because even if you want to transition because if, if you think about it okay. I'm saying Kanye West is upset with Adidas, right? Now, Adidas is upset with Nike. And Nike is still beefing with StockX. Now, StockX... I don't know what to tell y'all. I feel like in the art of public opinion, you guys are losing right now. You're losing really, really bad. Like, it looks ridiculous. It's like somebody knocked you down and you keep trying to get up because you think you're thinking it's helping. But it's not helping. And your little side posts of you talking about how you authenticate and all this stuff, it's not happening. I feel bad for the poor dude who had to sit up there and, and, and show how you guys um, authenticate Jordan 1, especially the patent bread that they said that was fake. And it just looked ridiculous, man. That poor dude had to go up there and say, we check this and we look at that and we look at that. Like, yeah, bro, anybody can say that. That goes into my next, I want to say my next topic. But as it goes into a video that I'm going to create real soon, and I'm also mentioning it now, the way you guys make fun of these legit checkers at GOAT, at StockX, at eBay, at SneakerCon, whatever, you know some of y'all do the exact same thing. When you take a look at a shoe and you're like, oh, that's fake. And I've caught most of you guys, if I know you, I've caught some people doing that same thing. I will purposely post a picture up on my social media of a very, very bad image or a shoe that I've seen from afar or something like that, just to see who says, these are fake. And I've caught plenty of people who thought, these are fake. And just me, you know, just being intrigued and, and interested because I love the conversation, I ask why. And not a lot of them can tell me why they're fake. Or I'll say, hey, you can tell off this terrible image and I never get a response. Because the same people you guys are talking shit about about all of these, look at how you authenticate, you know, you just, like, I, I can just grab this shoe and be like, oh, uh, uh, the smell and the look and, and, and the box and this, this and that, and you're like, oh, that looks ridiculous, 
It's the same thing you do when somebody walks down the street and you took a look at it like, oh, them's fake. Them's fake because they didn't come out and blah, 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 blah. Them's fake because it's been blah, blah, blah years and those shoes shouldn't look that good. This fake because I've heard it all. Da, 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 da. I- Stop it. Get some help. I've heard it all. And you all sound the same. You all legit sound the same. Now, I still feel for the brother who got up there and made himself look foolish when he sat there and legit checked that shoe. But StockX, you're not making it easy for yourself now. Come on now. You keep throwing these shots up and saying this and that. And, oh, well, Nike has had to buy it from us because they can't get it from your thing and they had to sell from blah, blah, blah. Public opinion is this. No one's going to support a website that supports reselling. And some people will, some people won't. Um, at this point in my sneaker career, I feel like it is what it is when it comes down to stuff like that. But some people aren't going to support it. And the way they're going about it, it doesn't look good. And still, my opinion is the same. You're trying to make money off an NFT of a shoe you did not create. It's not your silhouette, and it's not your idea. So you're making money off something that is not yours, and you're in the wrong. And that's just me, and that's my opinion, and that's my take. But I will say this, for me, looking on the outside, looking in, I've never made purchases from StockX, because I've heard the horror stories just from people saying they got fakes. And this is way before when, and they've had like the, the, the receipts to back it and everything. I've seen people with videos saying they got received wrong shoes from StockX and they refuse to do I've seen it all, all right? And I've met, never made a purchase with StockX. So I'm just on the outside looking in. But from public opinion, for me, looking in as this outside source, they don't look good to me. And it doesn't look good to me. You can feel definitely different and I open dialogue in the comments. But StockX looks really stupid right now. And that's on them as a company. I mean, silence, silence is key. You should have just settled outside and just gave Nike most of that bag and said, yo, we apologize. Can we at least get 10% because of the idea? You should have done something, but I see you're going to fight for what you like. But I think in this public case, Nike might win this only because you guys are making yourself look ridiculous. So let's get into something else. Let's talk about L's of the week since Stock X should be L of the week, but I got something way worse than that. to this GOAT post. And I'm finding a lot of amazing stuff on GOAT. I've been on GOAT a lot lately this past few months, making purchases, um, listing shoes, and not selling a damn thing. But I bought some stuff on GOAT, and I'll talk about that in, a, in another video, about my experiences with that, because it has some little awkward experience. I still have to make the video for... What do... How do I say this? The things I see on that app. Now, if you've been following sneakers and shit talking, you know that I post a lot of stuff. And it seems that a lot of it to be from GOAT. This person decided to do a custom on a Heritage one. And then butchered the custom because you're trying to make a Chicago one. And then proceed to try to sell it on the app. With the resale price. I'm going to be honest with you. And I don't know if you're ever going to see this video. You probably don't even care. This video is probably going to get like 56 views. I'm selling my short short. Shout out to the 4,000 views if I ever get that. <laughs> you should have made them things free. Once you butchered that shoe, you should at least $100 after that. You completely destroyed that shoe. If anybody's going to buy that shoe, they have to save it. So for you to put a resale price on that, you're automatically tripping. You're automatically tripping. And that's not okay. And this is your fault for that. So, yeah, you done fucked up. Wait, let's go into uh, releases, upcoming releases. So let's, let's make this fairly short. I feel like I'm, I'm talking way too long already. Um, upcoming releases. There is a Yeezy 700 that looks really interesting. This is something I've not, I've, I haven't seen from Yeezy. Um, it's a different colorway. It's giving me a vintage colorway vibe. I don't know why I'm so excited about it. I've, been, I've never been this excited about Easy um, since the uh, uh, Pirate Blacks might be coming out or the uh, the Turtle Doves might be coming back. Yo, this Easy is a dope colorway. It's light. It's the blue. It's the yellow. It's kind of like the shirt, but I don't have blue. 
It's a really dope colorway, and it gives me this vintage vibe. I really dig these, yo. I really dig these, and I'm hoping they come up with a release date. They look really dope to me. Um, but I just had to share that with y'all because them, them things is fire. Here are the Jordan 8 Taxis. It's an upcoming release. Those are going for $200. That's a really dope color with them, Jordan 8s. Um, I believe those are coming out on June 21st. Uh, that might be women's only. And they might only go to like a 10, 10, 10 and a half in men's. But it's actually a really dope colorway. Um, there's another topic on that. A lot of people are saying like, is it okay to have uh, it go extended men's sizes? And I say why not? Because there's women who buy men's sizes. So it's like one of those things where like, well, you don't want men to buy the women's shoes, but then like some women buy men's shoes. So it's it's in, it's in the category of, well, it is what it is. Just give people what they want and stop limiting stuff. But you know, we're not, we're not gonna get into that. Um, we have the Yeezy Boot 700 High Res, which is a really dope colorway. I see the red, reminds me of some Fruit Punch, some Tropicana. Um, those are coming out on, uh, I think the 17th. I wanna say the 17th. We also have the uh, Yeezy 700, uh, I don't know, is it, is it, is it Moolin? It, it, is it just MN? I don't, I don't really know, I really don't know. I'm not, I've not been interested in this version. Since I've seen the shoe, and it looks like it's going for 220, them high res are 260. That's kind of ridiculous, bro. Um, Jordan 4 infrared is coming out on the 15th. Those are 200 or 220, I think 200. Uh, shoes are getting expensive, bro. 200 plus used to be just a solid resale, or just like a phone posit. Not everything's like 200 plus. It's getting ridiculous. And the fact that we keep buying it, they're just gonna keep doing it. So we just keep playing ourselves. Um, the Be True collections coming out. We have the Cortez and the Dunk coming out on 622 on fairly affordable prices. And we also have the Orange Paisley Dunks that are coming out uh, on the 17th. Um, another part of the Paisley collection, which it's it's cool. More Dunks. Um, what have you? And um, that's going on for today. And that's going on with our sneakers and shit talking episode. Appreciate y'all for coming out rocking with me today. You know who you is. You know it's your boy. You know who your boy is. Thank you for watching me for another episode. Definitely like, share, and subscribe on this video if you like this content. It definitely help us out, especially because we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. And you can be the one to help us get us there. So I appreciate y'all. It is your boy, Sneaker Hunter Budget. I'll check y'all next time next week. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Hope you love all of my shit. I hope you love all of my shit.